No one is insured for mistakes, but every mistake comes with a price. What's up, guys? Welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to look at a few mistakes whose prices were extremely high and that were unfixable. The Nanfango Bridge, built in 1998. With a length of 459 feet and a height of 59 feet, it was the only single arch bridge in Taiwan that was supported by cables. And it was one of two steel arch bridges in the world. But catastrophe struck on October 1st, 2019. The arch bridge collapsed into the harbor below. The collapse occurred when an oil tanker truck was driving across the bridge, when the road and truck fell into a ship, causing a serious fire. The fire was quickly put out, and the truck driver was alive. At least 20 people were injured, and three fishing boats were damaged because of the shocking accident. Five people are reported to have died, and hundreds of rescue workers searched for people trapped in boats. They brought cranes, excavators, and other machines to the bridge site to free boats that were trapped under rubble, while divers searched for trapped people under the water. The results of an investigation into the incident with the broken bridge in Yulan were published on November 25th by the Transport Safety Board of Inquiry. According to the final report, the bridge's water stop in the harbor had deteriorated extraordinarily since it was built in 1998. High humidity and the salt in the harbor led to corrosion and water buildup in the bridge's supporting structure. The steel cables only had about 22 to 27 percent of functional cross-section area left, according to the report. The bridge's unusual design required more careful and detailed inspections that weren't done appropriately. According to Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen, a new bridge costing 29.36 million US dollars will be built. The Hubble telescope was sent into orbit on April 24, 1990, by a crew on the reusable spaceship Discovery, and has transmitted millions of unique images to the Earth that have significantly expanded scientists' understanding of how the universe is made and what happens in it. Now, the Hubble telescope's lens is an optical mechanical eye that lets us shift time and space reference frames and look into distant worlds in the universe and its past. The Hubble lens is a time machine that studies the birth of long extinct stars. The telescope was developed by several companies that made different parts. The most difficult part, the optical system, was made by Perkin Elmer. After being sent into orbit, the telescope began to work, but it turned out its sharpness was lower than calculated. Instead of 0.1 arc seconds, the images had a radius of an entire arc second. After several examinations, it turned out the telescope's mirror was too smooth around the edges. It was off two micrometers from the calculation. The aberration resulting from a literal microscopic defect made most of the planned studies impossible. A commission was assembled whose members found the cause. The unbelievably accurately calculated mirror was incorrectly polished. Now, installing a new mirror in orbit was technically impossible. And lowering the telescope and relaunching it was too expensive. But they found a beautiful solution. The distortion was known and just needed to be compensated for. So a special correction system called COSTAR was developed. It was installed during the first service mission to the telescope. On December 2nd, 1993, the Endeavour shuttle took the astronauts to the telescope. They installed COSTAR and changed the camera. COSTAR corrected the mirror's spherical aberration and played a role in some of history's most expensive pictures. The project's cost grew by another $50 million. But the pictures are out of this world. COSTAR operated until 2009, when it was no longer needed because all the new equipment had their own optical correctors. It gave up its valuable place to the telescope's spectrograph and has taken up residence in the National Air and Space Museum after being removed in the fourth mission to service Hubble in 2009. Now, let's talk about how important it is to be careful with details. The American Weather Satellite, NOAA and Prime, carries a set of instruments that gather data to predict the weather and climate. 
On September 6, 2003, the satellite was seriously damaged during manufacture at a Lockheed Martin Space Systems factory in California. The satellite fell to the floor as it was being horizontally rotated. A NASA inquiry concluded that it happened because of insufficient discipline in the factory procedures. While the turnover cart for the procedure was in storage, a technician removed 24 bolts that secured an adapter and neglected to document what he did. The team using that equipment to rotate the satellite did not check the bolts as is indicated in the procedure before moving the device. Repairs cost $135 million. Lockheed Martin forfeited all profits from the project to pay for the repairs. Our next story is about how you need to clean your home very carefully or else your cleaning will be quite expensive. When Bitcoin appeared in 2008, it wasn't worth much, so people didn't really believe in it or rush to buy it. When Bitcoin was worth just 0.0008 cents, but IT worker James from England felt it had potential, downloaded a mining program and quickly mined about 7.5 thousand Bitcoin. After a couple years, the cryptocurrency had become more valuable but still was relatively cheap at just 8 cents per Bitcoin. James stored the code to use the currency on a removable hard drive, but he even forgot about it. He accidentally threw it away while spring cleaning. By that time, the decentralized currency was starting to quickly gain value, and James's coins were worth $1,650,000. But he realized his mistake a little too late. He searched in dumpsters and dumps all over, but he was unsuccessful. Let's not kill the mood, though, and calculate how much James has lost as of today. Do you believe in intuition or instinct? Our next story is about how good it is when your instinct tells you that your project will be successful. Author J.K. Rowling in 1995 sent a clean copy of her novel to two literary agents. The first sent her book back almost immediately without considering its potential, but the second, Christopher Little, decided to take on the book. It was sent to 20 publishers, but they all sent it back. He found a publisher a year later. Harry Potter interested the small London publisher Bloomsbury. His colleague Barry Cunningham in August of 1996 offered the writer a modest advance of one and a half thousand pounds. In June 1997, Bloomsbury published The Philosopher's Stone with an initial 1,000 copies, and 500 more were sent to libraries. By the end of the year, they had printed 70,000 copies. In 1997, Rowling received a grant to continue her novel, and a year later, an auction was held in the U.S. for the publishing rights. That's when J.K. Rowling's success story began, which made her who she is today. An author high in demand, whose books has been translated, into 65 languages. She's one of the most influential and richest women in the UK. Her estate is evaluated at $54 million. It would be 10 times higher if it weren't for her charities. She generously helps her friends because she remembers what it was like to be poor and unneeded. Well, that's all for today. Leave a like, Leave me a comment too. Let me know uh, which one of these mistakes were most shocking to you. Don't forget to subscribe too. There's much more on the way.